are giving me the chance to speak here and selecting us the program. So we are a histology outsourcing service company for cancer researchers in academia and pharma. Histology is the oldest and one of the most important tools to diagnose cancer. Um, scientists use mice to study human cancer and they need to process mouse tissue onto glass slides for microscopic examination by pathologists. As Neil said, this is a repetitive and time-consuming process. Um, in my 10 years of experience as a cancer researcher working at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, EP, uh, Harvard and EPFL in Switzerland, I realized that around the world, the speed of histology is too slow. I was always frustrated having to wait uh, for two weeks to get these slides back. And when we get it back, the glass slides break, it's hard to archive them, and we end up with a mountain of slides on our desk. To make things worse, there's a shortage of pathologists scattered around the world, and it's hard for scientists to find a good mouse cancer pathologist to collaborate with remotely. And finally, um, there's no way for scientists to <coughs> view histology images of other labs to compare data and come up with a statistically significant results for publication or drug development. At HistoWiz, we believe that digitization is the future of histology. We offer the first fully automated and streamlined histopathology service, reducing manual labor and increasing quality. So customers send us tissue by mail. We process, embed, cut, stain, scan the slides, distributing it online, guaranteeing a three-day turnaround time, and customers are loving it. So I was hoping to show you this, uh, this instant remote access of glass slide on the computer as if you're looking under a microscope. But unfortunately, um, I cannot. So um, it's... access and um, you can basically view it up to magnification of 400 times and you can see it on any Mac, PC, tablet or phone as long as you have internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are the first to provide this on a scalable IT infrastructure on the cloud. And this database not only serves for faster result delivery, but we're also developing a proprietary method to tag cancer images for better search and comparison of data. And finally, this serves as a platform where multiple pathologists can give their opinion on one glass slide and uh, scrutinize the data before publication. So if you ever use the popular cancer genomics database, OncoMind, we will be the OncoMind for histology, or Picasso for scientists. We have a simple and unique business model where revenue initially comes from histology and IT service. But as our customers grow, so will our cancer image database, which we intend to use as the future revenue generating product as a pay-per-view uh, model after the data has been published. So this business model is working because we achieved break even within the first month of operation at the Advanced Biotechnology Incubator in Brooklyn. We have over 20 customers from the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, New Jersey Cancer Institute, Columbia, Cornell, organization Biotest. I did door-to-door -door sales for one week and we had a 400% revenue growth that month. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to stop, but the customers keep coming. Just by word of the mouth, we have 100% revenue growth the following month. So um, we have awarded, been awarded several um, awards like the best startup at the MIT Chief Demo Day and the SBIR Impact NYC. The total market size for histology in cancer research alone is $4 billion a year. This includes academic cancer research labs, pharmaceutical companies and government consortium. Although we're focused in mouse cancer histopathology at the moment, we can easily expand to other biomedical research fields like neurodegenerative disease, diabetes, and obesity with a total market size of $56 billion a year, as well as to hospitals and clinics. So 
were focused on mouse to avoid the patient privacy issues. Um, we had three main types of competitors, academic core facility, histology service companies, and CROs. We are faster, uh, we're cheaper because of the automated on-demand computing, we're easier and offer a mail-in full service, we guarantee a consistent quality because of the fully automated equipment, including a um, tissue cutting robot from Japan. Um, and we have a scalable IT infrastructure. We're building the cancer image database and the collaboration platform. Finally, we have mouse cancer pathology expertise. There are five um, histology service companies in the US, and believe it or not, there's none in New York, even though New York has the biggest cancer research market. We are a passionate team of cancer researchers, business strategists, computer programmers, business technicians and marketing and sales reps. We also have an advisory board of some of the best mouse cancer pathologists in the world. Julie Feldstein from MSKCC, Roderick Bronson from Harvard, Gerald Chu from Dana-Farber, and Robert Cardiff from UC Davis. We have raised uh, 100,000 in seed funding before operation in January, built the database prototype and bought the scanner. Um, our immediate goal is to raise uh, an angel round, apply to the SBR grant, and to, to build a team. With this uh, round of money, we hope to buy the automated equipment and further develop the categorization database and the IT platform. So uh, we have early adopters, um, and with the final investment from the VC, we hope to expand regionally and globally before exiting. This is a five-year projection based on the current run rate, and it's uh, fairly based on a fairly conservative um, assumptions on market share, with uh, five paying customers, five paying labs in the first year, and 80 labs at year five, uh, with a net income of $11 million. So to reach this milestone, we need to grow fast because we're the first to market, and we're currently seeking $500,000 and also looking for a permanent CTO. So if any of you are a programmer from Microsoft, I would love to talk to you. <laughs> and finally, um, our mission is to fight cancer cooperatively instead of individually by bridging the gap between scientists and doctors around the world. This is a noble project, and we hope you'll be part of our team.